Hello, Lee, oh, Lee, oh, Lee there, guys and girls. Getting my Flanders out already. Uh, the, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time, we are getting it all in Titan Chaser. Now, this adventure game was brought to you by Stas Shostak, published by Samustai, and is available for a very light $3.99. So, we play as Ladyman Ladyballs. I forgot the name, to be honest. Um, and our job is to basically steer huge, big-ass titan creatures away from a sleeping town. It's all good, though. This isn't like a time thing or anything. It does kind of play more like a walking-slash-driving simulator, so you don't need to rush, and everything's chaptered anyway. So achievements are easy enough. There's quite a few missables, and we've got to collect seven phones, but they can all be mopped up with chapter select if you end up missing one. But of course, you're not going to with this walkthrough, right? Right. Right. Uh, I mean, this game isn't bad in the slightest, but the controls do take a little slight while to get used to. All in all, though, like I said, you're looking at about 1 to 1 hour 20 minutes to complete this. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, choose experience. Uh, again, the start button, that's mad, isn't it? And we're going to get a missable achievement straight away. So, we're going to turn directly around. And what we're going to do is turn off the water with the uh, X button, slash square, if you're on PlayStation. That's the button you need to use to interact with things in the world. So turn off the water, turn off both both lights here, and turn off the final light just by the door. That is going to get us our first achievement, Eco Activist. So press X again to open, and then take the keys from the drawer before we head out. Now you can press the B button to run. Uh, what what I would do is put the look sensitivity all the way up. Uh, that just makes life a lot easier. Uh, but run all the way to the opposite building, into the office. Again, pressing the X button to interact with things. That does take a little bit of a while to get used to. Take the keys from the drawer. Have a look at this big Dwayne Johnson rock from, well, if you ordered him from Wish, looking mother. Yeah. And then head round the side and we're going to get our first phone. So again, press the X button there to interact with the phone. We're going to get our first achievement, Night Call. And, um, like I said, that'll be phone one out of seven. So, press X then to open the car door. Now, you have to do this every time. You actually have to enter manually. So, enter the car, and there's going to be a few things that we can do. You don't have to close the door every time if you don't want. Uh, but you can switch the headlights on. And we're going to get another missable achievement here now, actually. So, pick up the tape from the side of you. Pop that in. Turn the music on. And that is already going to be our third achievement in literally a minute and a half, two minutes. So, press the engine button. That'll obviously turn the engine on. That's mad how things work, isn't it? And basically, you can look closer with the left bumper button if you wanted. Um, basically, this this is just your mission of things that you've got to do. So, obviously, we're on chapter one. This is basically mission one. Um, but, uh, yeah, with the left bumper then... That uh, basically zooms in a little bit, and if you have a look at the uh, map right next to you on the seat, you can flip that over and see where you are. But to be honest, that just confused me more than anything, so we don't bother much with that. So press the X button there on the mirror to change the camera, press the right trigger to drive, and obviously the left stick to move and everything. And away we go! Now, one annoying achievement that we are going to be getting out of the way is for hitting 50 of these bollards. So, that is what we're going to do for literally the first couple of minutes then. Sadly, it's a bit of a... Obviously, it's slow. And it's not like the Simpsons hit and run where you can just mow everything down and everything's good and we can keep going fast. Uh, take a little left right here. And just keep running bollards down uh, for the moment. But we're going to stop just outside this gas station first. Again, obviously, it's the left trigger to break. It's a bit weird. It does take a little bit uh, getting used to, to be honest. Um... How to break and stop and everything. But if you have a look at the left side of this gas station, there is going to be the second out of seven phones. So, oh man, this is too busy for one old fat man. Right, so now we can get back into the car. Uh, again, you don't always have to close the door, but, you know, for the full driving simulator experience, I suppose. Why the hell not? And away we go. So, nip your ass over the bridge. I mean, it looks pretty, and then we're going to take a left just up this dirt track right here. And for now, we are going to just be following the road, so keep slapping them bollards down. Make these bollards your bitch. And if not, then I suppose you can just do it at the end of the game if you really don't want to do it now. 
Hey, what a pain in the butt. Windland plains, they produce most of the energy for Woodville and Bright City. But I remember frequent shutdowns this time of the year. I wonder, was it because of Titans? Arch Obler bringing you another in our series, Stories of the Unusual. And once again, we caution you, these lights out stories are definitely not for the timid soul. So we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. Goddard, answer the phone, please. Yes, Mr. Obler. Yes? Oh, yes, Miss Harrison. Here he is. Mr. Obler? Yes? Miss Harrison. Oh, oh, thank you. Hello, Joan. How's the phantom lady? Oh, yes. Now am I in trouble. I have a last like that. I just don't know what to write about. Oh, no, I got plenty of ideas, but... Well, well, men dying in foxholes, and what am I doing? See, you fantastic... Well, thanks very much, but I still insist that I ought to be... <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Sure, I'll make this last one a good one, and then that'll be that. If I live through it. Huh? <laughs> no, no, I'm just talking to myself. I've been doing that rather consistently these last few days. <laughs> yes, I, I guess all those zombies and ghouls and lucaroos have finally caught up with me. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Two aspirins and a glass of water every half hour. Uh, now look here, Miss Harrison, don't worry about me. I'll get the story written tonight if I have to talk to the devil himself to do it. So, I mean, should we sing or something? On the road again. I just can't wait to get my titties out on the road again. Oh, wait, that's the wrong song. Ah, well, never mind. My God, I hate these bottles, bro. But I think we're coming up to the achievement so you can set me up. Le, le, le. Ah, freaking finally. That was a pain in the ass. But as long as you've got oh, the uh, road markers, sorry, not bollards, meh, same shnit. But we, once we destroy 50, we can finally just keep moving on. Now stop, do not get too close to the Dragonios, right here. Uh, what we need to do is just stop, you know, don't get on the bridge, just chill out, turn the spotlight on, which is just above the headlight, get out of the car, and then interact with the spotlight, again pressing the A button, use the right stick to move, and shine it on the dragon. Make sure it's all nice and shiny on the dragon. Press the B button to get out of there. Lovely. Right. Get into your car and press the honk button. Or the beeper. Or the, uh... Or the, uh... You know, the honk button. I actually forget what it's called now. Uh, <laughs> turn your spotlight off. Because you can't actually... Um, and you need to turn the engine back on. So, yeah, that takes a little bit of getting used to as well. So... You can't actually use the car with the spotlight on. You've got to turn the engine off to use the spotlight, then turn the spotlight off, then turn the engine on before we can head off. The beeper, the honker. Uh, keep going straight up the road for two minutes while I remember what the hell I'm supposed to be thinking of. And from here, then, we can just take a right now onto this dirt track anyway. And basically what we're going to be doing now is... Uh, what are the longest sort of chapters in the game we basically have to go up all nine watchtowers but we have to flick on a lot of switches and obviously we'll be uh, getting other phones and things before as well what we can do what you say? are you sure you're all right please go all right good night good night the horn of course it's called the bloody horn 
Not the honker. Uh, take a right and we're going over the bridge now anyway. Uh, Jesus Christ, why couldn't I not remember that? Uh, but basically, as we get to the bottom of the bridge, we're going to take a left onto the dirt track once again. And just a cheeky little edit there, but basically on the left you can see this big wash tower. Again, we need to be switching on the light first, so leave your car, obviously using the X button. Still, for some reason, not using the A button to interact with things confuses the crap out of me. The switch is basically still just on the dirt road, so uh, go ahead and make sure to switch this bad boy on. I'm going to be honest, I haven't got a clue what this woman's on about for the majority of the, of the game. She does talk a lot. Uh, the radio is not exactly fantastic, so yeah, not really a lot to listen to. Anyway, uh, pressing the B button to run, of course, or lightly jog so you don't get too knackered, which is probably good for me. We're going to climb the watchtower. All the watchtowers are the same. There's not like a puzzle or anything to it. And basically, as soon as she starts talking a bit of dialogue like this, that means that we've reached the point where we can just start heading back down and back into care. Outside a mob is clamoring for his life. It appears that a horrible crime has been committed in the village. Right then, I'll try and guide you with these ones. Basically, the area can get quite confusing, um, because a lot of it looks the same. So we're just going to drive down. There's going to be a stretch of water. There should be a little stretch of water right here. Obviously, try to avoid the water. If you do get stuck, there's an SOS button in your car you can use to get back. Um, so over the water, up this little hill right here, you can obviously see the watchtower just in front of us again. Um, just stick with the sort of right hand side of the body of water and just in front of us you're going to see the second switch. So, whap that out. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Congratulations, Pop. Have a cigar. I'm deep in my own mind. That's what that crazy monk said in the book. There's no guitar was left. Right then, get back in our car. By the way, literally not... Why didn't they just give us like a 4x4 to be doing all this in? They've given us literally the world's crappiest car to do this in. But, such is life I suppose. Anyway, make sure to change the camera every time so you know where you're going. But, from the switch, <laughs> we are basically just going to head into the watchtower. That is just in front of us there, so, you know, just about getting over the hills. Uh, not being funny, this is where a 4x4 would have gone absolutely well. Instead of a clunky old hunk of crap bags. So, once again, nip your ass up the watchtower, try not to fall, um, unless you're scared of heights, then, uh, I mean, if you're really scared of heights, then this will suck for you right now. <laughs> Sorry. Woodville sign somehow always cuts through the fog, just perfect for the travellers to find. Once you reach the top, and Lady Man Lady Balls starts talking... Uh, that specific dialogue, we're going to head back down to the car. We are actually going to be getting stuck. We're going to cross this little sort of bridge wooden path now. Um, but you have to do it quite carefully, otherwise you get stuck. So we don't mind doing it the first time, because we need to get the achievement for it anyway. Uh, but when you come back here a second time, like me, I got stuck um, another time, which was annoying. So you crash here, you can't actually get back out. So you think, oh my god, what the hell do we have to do, man? Press the X button there to go into your car, press the on off button there, and then press X on the SOS. So, big Jasper Carrot, the um, the rock, if you ordered him off Wish, he's basically going to come and sort us out. And that'll get us the achievement, Jasper! And we go to this nearest gas station. Um, now, there shouldn't be many times that you need to do this. Uh, use the SOS button, but like I said, I literally got stuck in the exact same space just now, which really was annoying. But if we head basically just straight back down to the right slightly, past this big watchtower on the right. And keep hugging the right, there is another body of water we're just going to avoid, just in case we do get stuck again. Over this next bit of hill once more. And then we should be coming up to the bridge in a few seconds. How is this car not broken down? It's the worst rally car I've ever seen. Again, try not to go into the water. And there we... There she blows, buddy. So what I do then is get nice and straight. Without crashing into a tree. My driving is awful in this game. And... Oh! 
I almost fudged it up for a third time, to be honest. But you should be nice and good over the side, and we're on the main road. Where is everyone? This town looks crappy. Anyway, keep going straight. And as we can see, we are coming up to another watchtower. So, we're going to be doing the same thing. Head on up, wait until the dialogue's there, and get your buns back in the car. Because apparently we are still yet to see any other titans apart from the Wyvern. It's a good observation point to judge the terrible Woodville entrance crossroad. Decades ago it has been damaged by a mudslide and still here we are. I suppose it's lucky none of these titans can either see us or anything really because in real life if we were to be trying to you know, get away the titans and everything, and big giant monsters, they'd normally just crush us in one fell swoop. But, you know, video games is cool. So, change the camera. What we're going to do is actually turn around now. So, don't keep heading straight for the time being. Basically, we're going to be getting another missable achievement. Um, this area, we literally only come across once in the entire game, and that is to get this achievement. So, head left. When we turn around, head left. We're going into... Woodville. Morning Woodville. Which that would have been an even better name to be honest. Morning Morning Woodville. <laughs> anyway, leave the car just as we get to the gas station and there's going to be the next phone on the left hand side. So whip that out. Speak to uh, Rock from Wish. A cheaper version of the Rock there. Jasper, and then we can move on. So that should already be phone 3 out of 7. Right, so just keep going straight. We are going to be coming up to a right in just a little bit. Morning, Woodville. <laughs> anyway, at this crossroads, we're going to turn right. And then there's going to be a little bend that we are going to stop at right about Mia. So take a nice stop. Get out of the car. Leave the car. And then this little house, nice little house with the ramp. And the massive bin, bin looks bigger than us. Go ahead, knock on the door. And luckily for us, our parents hate us or something because they haven't even acknowledged that we're there. Um, so we visited our parents who hate us even though all the lights are on and they knew we were coming. Right, so anyway, reverse. Oh my god, there's nobody in the car, we're a ghost! Ladyman Lady Balls is a ghost. Anyway, what we need to do now is just head in between these two buildings. And then, because this bit can get slightly confusing as well, but we're going to sort of stick with these right-hand side houses. Stick with the right-hand side until you can see this big sign in front of us. And we are back on the road. Now, what you're going to see is another two signs. So, as long as you see these two signs, you are on the right track as well. For some reason, I got confused and incredibly lost. But we are going to head to the left now. And basically just carry on. Hooray! On a road again. Get into these eyeballs out and pubes again. No, oh, wait, we're going to stop. Okay, not completely on the open road. We're going to stop because we have seen another switch. And that is what we need to do. And that's going to light up that watchtower. So, get back in. Obviously, unless you want to go for a swim. But if a dragon's about, then it'll probably chow down nicely. So keep going straight, and then what we're going to do is obviously head to the right on this bridge. Somehow, somehow I almost missed the bridge. Because I'm just that good at driving. No, I'm not a douchebag. Everyone else is the douchebag. Lol, I lie. Anyway, as we get over the bridge, we're going to take a little left. Because uh, there is going to be another watchtower on the left. So there he is, just through the trees right here. But what we're going to do is just park it sort of on the hill because there is a switch um, still on the main road that we need to get. So before heading to the watchtower then, go up to the main road and um, grab the switch. Now, to be honest, probably would have been easier if I had just parked the car outside the switch and then run up and then run back. But, you know, whatever, I, I fancy going for a jog. I had, a, I had a late massive pizza with McDonald's fries and KFC chicken and Burger King Royale burger. Need a run off, uh, need a run off the calories, you know? So head back down. God damn, that is some bright lights. Give me epilepsy here. Cheers for that game. So <laughs> switch on, run up the watchtower, job done. When 
the weather is good, I can see the tower from my apartment in Bright City. I even saw the light. Where to next, Captain? Well, where to next is we're going to get some more switches and everything. Uh, but you can see how you can easily get lost. It does play like a walking simulator, driving simulator, but it's so easy to get lost, like I've done millions of times. So anyway, what we're going to do then is basically head straight from where we parked off the main road. And what we're going to do is go, we're going to nip over to the other side. So you need to hit a body of water that is at its shallowest and its least -est. And you'll be able to see that basically just right here where there's enough... Where there's enough sand for us to just get to the other side without breaking down. Lovely job. Right, avoid the trees, try not to die, and head over the bridge. Very, very slowly, apparently. No, apparently we've had a drink or something because man this chick cannot drive although technically it is me driving anyway take a stop just next to these trees you can already see the switch we're going to be using there are actually two switches that we're going to be using so whip the first one out um she's literally said just a few towers left after the first tower so don't believe her she's an ass you're lying anyway with that first switch there is a second switch just behind um, some bushes, so that's where the first switch is. For some reason, I'm getting extremely confused. But if you head, yeah, there you go. So it's just behind this tree, <laughs> easily missable to be honest. But there we go. One step closer to home. I don't know why we need to be doing this with lights and everything. Like they're huge, they can see the whole, they can see the whole town. Where have you left your kids? <laughs> Tell you. Anyway, we've obviously changed the camera, we're all good to go, so now we're just going to head up to the watchtower and do that thing again. Ah, never mind, I know where she left her kids. She left them with her mother while she went to get tanked up and off her absolute nut. Which, to be honest, after having a kid, it usually ends up being one of the best nights out and the cheapest ones, because you're still fudged up after birth and everything. Uh, for me, I'm just a lightweight and I'm crap at drinking and that's quite embarrassing coming from a Welshman. <laughs> but that's what it is. <laughs> that's the way it is. I have no shame. So then with that one, we can now head back into the car, as is the purr. And what we're going to do is basically start heading to the right. So keep going as right as you can, sort of like 70, 80 degrees, 90 degrees. Um, almost back on yourself, actually. I forget the degrees, but just keep going until you see this big watchtower. And we can nip up there now. Jesus, man, I'm no good today. I forgot what a horn's called and I forget my degrees. I think I need to take a crap and nap. Crap and nap. Guard boats can be seen from here. Funny enough, since I was a kid, I only saw it there at the river's delta. Not a lot of coast guarding around here, I suppose. Tonight is the fourth anniversary of Life. So as we get back into the car, then basically the next watchtower is in front of you and to the right. In fact, it's directly in front of us. So that's where we're going. Ignore me. I end up going back on myself, then realizing what I'm doing, and then going all the way back on myself. But the watchtower was directly in front of us there from where we started. Um, so, yeah. It got a little bit of blindness up in here. Bit of pepper spray. Anyway, you know the drill. Up the watchtower. Uh, this chapter is nearly coming into an end, <laughs> thankfully, though. The second, third, and fourth ones are quite luckily a little bit shorter. Unusual view on our defeated corruption monument, but... I tell you what would have actually been easier for these guys. Just get in, you know, the the children's screams. Put them somewhere, wherever the home is. Just press the button and then they'll just follow their children's cries. Job done. Instead of driving around and being all like this. Anyway, get in the car. We're going to go basically straight and we're going to stop very soon, very quickly. Because as you see, there is another switch for us to pull on the left. Tonight, Lysol presents another psychological drama. 
One step closer to home. God damn it, lady. How many times have we got to stay one step closer to home? Is she one step or is she no step? Pick a step, damn it. Anyway, back into the car. We're going to go straight. Basically heading back on the main road for literally 10 seconds or so. Because there is the another big watchtower directly in front of us. Looking all bonerific and all. I wish we could hear the ocean in Bright City as good as here. Pretty sad to live on the coast and hear only this stupid city noise all the time. Now, I know I told you that we're coming to the end. We are actually coming to the end. God, I sound like her now, don't I? One step closer to the end. One step closer to the end. Anyway, back in the car and basically go left a little bit and then straight. As it we, we can see all these hills and little bits of hills and whatever. Stop here though, there is going to be another switch. Wasting his time teaching biology to a bunch of co No, sir, you should be writing... Now, I don't know who the mayor is, but literally, your placing of switches and watchtowers is pathetic. Why don't they just put the switches next to the watchtower? Oh, that would make sense. But of course, as we know, big, big people like that up in high positions don't make... They have no common sense. They're all idiots. Idiots with millions of pounds in the bank. Anyway, heading to the left, basically what we're going to do is go up those hills now, but we need to get like a little running start. So, this is the sort of easiest point that I could see anyway. Uh, but you're going to get a little bit of struggling, so just wiggle the left stick back and forth if you do end up getting stuck. I almost did. If you do end up getting stuck here, it's okay. Basically, there's just a switch and a watchtower that we need to get up to up here. And we really don't need the car as much anyway. So, manage to, <laughs> manage to make it, but uh, whap this switch on. So as you went up the hill there, it was just slightly to the right. Basically, sort of uh, directly in front of the watchtower. And this is finally... One step closer to home. Oh yeah. But going up here, this should now unlock the UB achievement. So that one took a while, huh? After all this year, silent people. Hooray! We're finally done! We were, we're already basically more or less halfway through the game uh, with chapter one just done. Right, from here we're going to tur turn down. Um, basically, obviously we're going to sort of head towards the light, which is obviously going to be our car. Oh, God damn it, it's so friggin' bright. Uh, basically, we're just heading back to the switch and we're actually going to turn the switch back off. Now, there is a reason that we are going to be doing this. I'm not doing this for a giraffe and to piss off a dragon who can easily kill us. But we're heading sort of back towards, but we're going past the watchtower. Through goes the wyverns. Lovely. Uh, don't quit yet. There's basically two achievements we're going to get. So just keep heading up towards whatever the hell that is. Uh, not all the way though. As soon as the achievement unlocks... There it is. Wyvern handler. But... Basically, what we're going to do now is just keep heading down. There's a little secret area just over the brow of this hill. And it's basically going to be the, to the right. So if you move your stick to the right right now, you're going to see a little area, a little lit up area. And that is where the secret is. <laughs> like, there it is. So we all make it eventually. Oh, it's a little... Oh, girl. Damn, man, it's a little bed. Oh, yeah. Get some Barry White on, get a McDonald's. Man, I am super hot right now. Anyway, once that is done, we can actually leave. Because when we click on experience, the rest of the chapters actually unlock. So we can just jump into there now. So go into chapter two. Sorry, I got caught up in the moment with Barry White, three candles and a McDonald's. Oh, what a romantic man I am. Oh, yeah, baby. So, obviously, we're going to nip back into the car. Like I said, luckily, these two, these three chapters are considerably shorter. So, you can't beat that, can you? Make sure to obviously turn the engine on. 
because, you know, you don't have to turn the headlights on every time, by the way. Uh, but you've got to turn the engine on to go places. That's mad. Who knew? Who came up with that ingenious idea? Anyway, we're heading out, following the path for the time being, ignoring these ass bollards. I call them ass bollards because they're bloody annoying. This time, we are going to be heading to the left. Over the bridge and far away, Teletubbies come to play. Damn it. Let's just take a left. Anyway, right here. Let's take a left. Just go down this dirt pack, dirt track and just keep following it along. The joys of having a toddler. You get every nursery rhyme and every stinking kid show in your head forever. Oh, it's a joy. Anyway, over the hill, like I said, far away. Basically, what we're going to be doing now is coming up to our next phone, which should be... Phone number four out of seven. So we can actually put some power. Why didn't they just give us an engine? Big engine or something. Turn left when we get to the main road anyway. <laughs> um, basically, you can see in the distance this little sort of building just on the water. Head out, head over, and on the outside is the next phone. So what they've done then is given us crappy box car, crappy engine, crappy tyres, crappy spotlight. Hmm, spotlight's not bad, I suppose. Uh, yeah, literally just chuck some chunky tires on it. Give us a 2.5 litre V8. Something. Something to get past this bloody thing. Anyway, here is the next phone. Um, I think she's got a crush on uh, little Jasper the Rock from Wish. And why wouldn't you? Bald, muscular, handsome. Pff, exactly like me. <laughs> it's all lies, of course. But, you know, nobody needs to know that. So, back into the car then. Re reverse a little bit, head on over this little tiny bridge off. I wonder what would happen if I fail to drive them off. Are they a threat to someone, or are we a threat to them? Windlands Plains, they produce most of the energy for Woodville and Bright City. But I remember frequent shutdowns this time of the year. I wonder was it... And we are actually coming up to the first giant. Now remember none of these, um... Giants or anything can hurt you, so, you know, don't worry, it was only the dragon. We didn't want to scare it away in the first chapter. Uh, just keep following the road, and eventually, in the distance, you were going to see my morning glory. That's how huge it isn't. Uh, you're going to see the big old giant. This is what I look like. I, this is me. They literally took their likeness from me, which is incredible. So, <laughs> lol, lies. Make sure to turn your spotlight on. Enter the spotlight and then shine it in the giant's eyes. So he's around here somewhere. There he goes. Lovely. So, shine it in the giant's eyes. If you end up managing to miss him, obviously just reverse a bit and, you know, then chuck the spotlight in. Basically, he's going to turn around now. So, that's exactly what we are going to do as well. Back in your car. Turn around. Teletubbies. Come to play again. Ugh. And obviously, remember to turn your engine back on after turning the spotlight off. <laughs> you know, that, uh... I never got used to that for some reason. So what we're going to be doing for the time being is literally just going straight. We're not turning off anywhere, but we're going to keep going straight until we find the train station. One straight. So give yourself a little song and... Oh, well, I am. Diddy down there. You know, sing along, whatever. But, uh, you know, keep going straight until I tell you to stop. They said these titans don't like bright light in their eyes. I can totally relate.
Okay, stop! Stop it now! So there, here is the train. You can just see the train with its big spotlight, but we are more interested in the little building to the left. The reason we're interested is on the outside, to the right, is another phone for us, which is going to be ba -ba -ba, phone five out of seven. Nice. Hey, Jasper. Just want to let you know I've been thinking about you lately. You and that hunky flab of arm fat skin. It's delicious. Makes me want some bacon or something. Anyway, get back into the car. Now head left onto the train tracks. That's the first thing that we're go we are going to be doing. Heading over the train tracks and basically going onto the dirt track and following it around. We're basically coming up to the end of the second chapter now. So over the train tracks. Keep following this road until we get to a road blockage as that is where the giant numeres tunois is. Or, uh, the, the, or the second one. My Spanish is not brilliant. And my English is barely better. Instead of fixing the road, close it. What a great solution. He is massive. And so close to Woodville. Wait, so those earthquakes and confusion. So you can probably just see him in the distance there. So again, top, pop your spotlight on. Get the hell out. Freaking hell, windows and all types of crap. End of the spotlight. And of course, find the giant. Shine it in his eyes. And that will be the end of the second episode. So just wait until the achievement unlocks first. Um, it does, for some reason, take a, a bit of a while. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay up popping this one. So then we just enter the car. We're going to have a chill. We can turn the spotlight off. There it is then. So as soon as the achievement unlocks, now we can leave, head back to the main menu, and start Chapter 3. And now, obviously, you don't want to leave too early because just the, <laughs> the achievement won't unlock and you'll just have to do this again. And you don't want to be doing more in games than you actually have to, do you? So back to experience. The last whale... I wonder what we're going to be dealing with this time. Uh, a giraffe. Yes, we're going to be dealing with a giraffe flying high in the sky. So, back into the motel, back into the car, and heading back out of the motelimus. This time, what we're going to be doing is taking a right... Now, the right to Bright City, oil fields, etc. All we're going to be doing is just following the road. We're not turning off anywhere. We're not stopping off at anything. So, keep following the road in one of the worst cars in any video game I've ever seen. Sorry, no offense. But I can literally piss faster than this. And <laughs> just keep going until you basically see a huge, giant ass giraffe whale. It's just a regular whale up in the sky. So, roughly about here, there you go, so you can't really miss it. Now again, you think Titans being Titans, they'd sort of just smash buildings and stuff and make it their own, but these are nice ones, so can't complain. Right, what we need to do is basically get this whale over to the train station, and the only way to do that is basically lure him in. Lure him. Lure. Lure? You know what I mean. Reel him in. So turn on the spotlight, get his attention with it, there we go. And then just shine it back towards the end of the road. So you don't have to worry about him coming back as long as you shine the spotlight and just let him uh, go on until he's sort of out of sight. Um, then he won't come back and he won't get lost or anything like that. So as soon as you do that, we're going to get back into the car, turn the spotlight off, turn around and drive down.
And what we're going to do then, we're going to stop right here as well, um, just by, well, just to the end of the sort of uh, fences and everything, just before the signs. And again, whap your spotlight on, basically we're going to keep getting the whale going, so there you go, he should be roughly around here. Get his attention again, and once again, just shine it forward on the road. There you go, so eventually, I mean, he does take his time, but he gets there, so just point it straight down past the signs. By the way, if you're a lorry driver or a delivery driver and you do long driving hours and you think, oh, I could do with a nice game to relieve the stresses of driving, this is probably not the game for you, to be honest. This seems more stressful than driving in real life. Whap your spotlight off, whap your engine on, change the camera, keep it going. We are going to be getting another missable phone, though, in just a tick. And basically, if we head left here, just on this road, onto this dirt track, you can see the gas station in front of us. That is going to be the other side. Is going to be where the next phone is. Ah, oh, remember these phones? No, of course you won't if you're only uh, 18 or 19 or younger or maybe even 2021. You will not remember these pay phones at all. Now, you had to use, you had to put money. This is incredible. You had to actually put money uh, into the slot. Press uh, numbers, and then put it up to your phone. You couldn't text on it. Uh, you couldn't send unsolicited pics or anything on it. It was incredible. What a simpler time. It's uh, You missed out, you kids. You darn kids. Anyway, we're going to turn around there and head back away from the gas station. Of course, we still have a whale to get to and point him away. Right, so just keep going straight for the time being then on this road anyway. And we're actually going to take a little stop, just a, a, quite a while before the signs. Um, you can, well, the whale is in the air, so just make sure. He should still be roughly around where we are anyway. So get out, wipe your spotlight on, of course. Honk and a honk. Can't believe I called the horn a honk. How silly of me. So, again, whapping the spotlight out, get the whale's attention, and then point him directly down the road again. Oh, there he is. Okay, no, we're cool, we're cool. Sorry. Sorry, whale, you, you keep going, lad. Just, I thought I lost you for a second there. And I was about to be pissed off. Luckily for us, though, he is still around. So now, once again, we can turn the spotlight on, off, get the engine car going. And again, why wouldn't you give us a car that can do both spotlight and engine? Who, somebody's literally gone. Here's 100 quid. Buy the cheapest, crappiest thing that you can find. Hey, thanks a bunch, buddy. You stupid butthole. So, just keep going straight for now. Obviously, we can see the signs. Just, I was just uh, making sure that the whale was on its way as well. From here, then, uh, we can just keep heading straight. But just as we get to the bridge here, we're going to stop again. And we're just going to do the whole spotlight, shining in the whale's eyes, uh, Send him down the road over the bridge, trick. Where you gone, buddy? Where'd you go? Ah, there he is. Yeah. So if he's not, you know, if he's not in sight, just sort of shine it back uh, in the opposite direction, and he will appear eventually anyway. And then as we get to the end of the bridge, we're going to be taking a left. Uh, this, we're sort of coming up close. We are coming up to another missable achievement. Um, so head left here. Uh, but this bit starts to get quite tedious in all fairness. Why is the train station so far away? And why can't we just shine a big massive spotlight in the sky at the train? Who, why can't we just get a helicopter? Christ, that would have made life easier as well. Somebody really dropped a ball sack on this one. Anyway, following the dirt track all the way around for a minute, we are going to stop in just a couple of seconds, about now. 
And we're going to do that spotlight trick again. So, again, if you can't see him, just shine it down the road and he will eventually nip on by. And we are getting there, I promise. But we are coming up to the main road. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little right. But we're going to basically stop. And we're going to get the whale down there. So again, just do the trick. Stop here. Do the spotlight trick. Make sure that the whale goes down to where your car is pointing. Now, when we get back into the car, what we're going to do is not follow the way. We're actually going to, again, turn the spotlight off, turn the engine off, uh, on. But what we're going to do is swing it around, and we're going to be getting another missable achievement. And this one's kind of creepy. Um, only for the fact of the location, how dark and foggy it is. It literally looks like a serial killer moment, to be honest. Uh, but if we head, turn back around in the opposite direction of the road, we're going to see that building. Remember earlier, we got the uh, s uh, fifth phone from uh, what we're going to do is head towards that again oh man look at that running look at that sprint action but if we head to the right of the building not going up what we're going to do is speak to jasper he is literally in a boat in the foggy dark on his own um she thinks there's a whale to escort um and that's why he's out but what Jasper's done is actually just killed someone and thrown them in the river. Didn't even look at us. Didn't even know we were there. So, something up with the rock from Wish? Hmm. Well, we'll just leave him to it because I don't want to be the next victim personally. So, we can just turn back around on the road now and head in the direction that we sent the whale. Basically, the train station is going to be coming up. Finally! God damn, finally made it to the train station. Now, for whatever reason then, this bit was kind of finicky for me. So, I don't know. For me, what happened was shining the light in the whale's eyes and then pointing it at the train. Um, I did try, try just pointing it at the train, um, thinking he would just go down there. Basically, the, ne the point of story progression is when... Um, Lady Man Lady Balls starts talking and says, hey, she likes to play with a train more than a spotlight. So as soon as you get that bit of dialogue, that's when you know that we've done it and we're all good. Um, but yeah, so for whatever reason, this bit can potentially be a bit finicky. But what I advise is just shining the light in the whale's eyes and then pointing it down to the train. Uh, that is the one that seemed to work for me anyway, as he's just having a little piss about. Remind me exactly of my little toddler when trying to get addressed. Start pissing about... And do the thing, please. Like so there we go. That's that's exactly what I'd done to do that. Like I said, just shining the light at the train didn't seem to work. I actually had to put the spotlight in him and then drag it down. So that will be the best way I've done that. Right. We're almost done with this now. Spotlight off, engine on. What we're going to do is just head to the train. Probably didn't even need to do that. That was just kind of lazy on my part. 
Uh, but there is a launch button on the train that we need to use, and then we need to follow the train, and that will be the end of Chapter 3. So have a look at this box, jump up on it, the launch button's right in front of us. Again, press the X button there, and it's going to start moving. Kind of, um, kind of dangerous how there is just one button out in the open that you can literally just launch, um, <laughs> get a train moving. But what do I know? Apparently this town sucks, they put switches not next to watchtowers, so... Screw them. Anyway, back into the car. We are going to follow that train. All you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. <laughs> oh, what a line. What a quote. So, well, you hear it, Big Smoke. Let's follow the damn train, CJ. Or LMLB. So the whale's going to follow us. What's going to happen is a cheeky little derailment. Oh, we almost got some whale tail up in here. And then, basically, as soon as the achievement unlocks for this, we can actually leave, go to the experience, and start Chapter 4. I hope they won't take this from my salary. Today I won't come down, so I can call it tonight. Nice! So, let's get on to chapter four we do still have to play the epilogue and the secret bonus level as well but they take literally two three minutes each so here's the last one then now heading back into the car what do we got what are we on 52 minutes so we got about 17 18 minutes uh left now so again heading back down to the road out of the sea rand rock So if we head left here, basically what we're going to do now is just go on one long, long straight to find the final phone. Um, but this does take, like I said, it takes about a minute of driving. So, you know, get in your banjo out and enjoy the non-music and the non-environment. Everything is just too foggy. So, yeah, just keep following the road straight here. No turns for a while until we get basically to the end of the very road where there is no main road left. That's phone number seven, and then we can crack on with the Kraken. And I said that because this is the Kraken story, obviously. Kraken doesn't react to light for some reason and should be casted away with alarm sirens. I hope my ears will still be intact after that. Screw this town and its crap mayor with its crap cars and its crap everything. I mean, it probably looks nice in the day, but here we are then. So we've hit the end of the main road. Leave the car. The phone is directly in front of us. There we go. So now we're going to get the tourist. And again, for you kids, this is what tourism used to be. Going around, having a look at phones. Now, you can be an Instagram and TikTok influencer and go to Dubai for nothing while sponsored. Mm, all that, you know, jazzy crap. 
And I'm only jealous because stupid people get to go to Dubai and take some freaking pictures with the cleavage out. I can do that! But apparently I don't have perky enough um, titties for that. So, uh, well, there's always surgery for me, I suppose. Anyway, that's another dream of mine that we shall come to never again. Basically, what we're doing, though... <laughs> sorry to just put that on you there, guys and gals. Uh, but we're just going to head back now. Keep following the road again with your literal 15 mile per hour, if that. And just as we get up to these road signs right here, we're going to be taking a left right now on this next dirt track. So there it is. Take a left. There we go. Look. Uh, again, obviously, this is incredibly short. We just basically climb up three towers, flip a switch, and basically get almost eaten. Nah, <laughs> that's always nice. Head over the bridge. Far away. And Teletubbies come to play. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, for the love of God, shut up. Which I think a lot of people think when they uh, watch one of my videos. Sorry, sorry, I do talk too much. Anyway, you can see this signal tower, so head to the left one first. Um, <laughs> I do apologise for talking too much. It's a Welsh thing. It's what we do, honey. Heading up the ladder, there should be a uh, go up option. Um, I actually tried jumping up and seeing like I could walk up. But if you look directly in front of you, you'll have the option to go up. So just press the X button. And somehow... Jesus Christ, we got some super speed climbing up ladders. You go, girl. Lady man, lady balls, you go. Anyway, flick the switch. And then we can just go back down. Now this, this is an incredible. Look at that. Looking down, we're basically like Spider-Man fl fl uh, flying down those ladders right there. So, man, she got some epic bows. Right, get back into the car. Basically, there's going to be another signal tower. Um, if we turn around... There's going to be another signal tower just to the right of us there, but we're going to ignore that one for now. Eventually, the car's going to get enough momentum to go. Jesus, Anna Buddha, man. So you see that signal tower? Yeah, ignore that one for the time being. We're going to head left past this ship. And we're going to head to this next signal tower. Again, you do the same thing. Go up. Ooh, Kraken's looking mighty. Mighty tasty if we could uh, cook him up. But of course that's not going to happen because that's going to happen the other way before we cook him up. Damn. I love the way Kra uh, the Kraken looks in in a lot of video games to be honest. Especially this one because it, it's a very nice looking game to be fair. So the Titans look fantastic. But anyway, we're up, flick the switch, go down and then head back in the car. Sirens are ready. Now I need to pull the switch on the control tower. And now we can just go to the one that we ignored earlier on. So reverse a little bit. You can already see it on the left-hand side. That's just doing the same thing. So up you go. Flip the switch. And then when the achievement unlocks, we can leave. And then do the other two sh sh small things. And job's done. Shit, ah, shit, ah, shit, ah, shit. Right, so before we actually get eaten, let's leave. Keep calm, it says. 
Keep calm when we're going to get sucked up. <laughs> anyway, uh, go to the epilogue. Experience over the epilogue. Um, <laughs> just when we're going to get sucked up. Yeah, let's keep calm, is it? No problem, brother. No problem. Right, so we're going to leave the car before we drive. We're going to head into the office. There we go, into the Sea Rand Rock office. And have a look, and we're going to look at this note, or this letter right here. I will think about it in the car. Okie dokie. She's not Irish. I just thought I'd give her a little Irish twang. I hope I just impressed every Irish person right there. If not, then sorry I just butchered the accent. Okay, so... What we can do, basically, there's a couple of options that you can do. You can either go one way and stay, or you can go the other way and leave. Um, we're going to go the shortest route, which is basically Bright City, which is where we got the whale earlier on. So from here, we're literally just going to, um, at the end of this little dirt track, we're going to go to the right and basically follow the road all the way along until we get to Bright Light City, light, bright, bright, bright. There you go, as you can see, oil fields and bright city. So from here, take the right, follow the road all the way along. There's nothing else we can do. This is basically the shortest uh, route for us to get this achievement. And then we're just going to do the final secret Halloween bonus level. That's brave, you know where he lives. You wouldn't mind, I'm sure. I can picture myself there for a few weeks, sure. Or finally, we can go to the Iron Coast together and figure it out while watching the ocean. Unexpected, but interesting. It's your choice. So drive wherever it feels right. Okay, it's time to decide and go somewhere. I mean, I suppose since there was literally one other person in the game who did not speak, we couldn't exactly uh, get a horn dog on and get emotionally attached to him. So, oh man, she is. That is a determined walk. Why she just got out of her car and walked across the road? You could have literally just carried on driving. Honey, hey, hey, baby doll, ba Babbins, you, you can still drive. You know, the car doesn't automatically stop dead just there. Although then again, if you're going into a nice bright city like that, you don't want to be seen dead in a 100 pound shitbox. No, I, <laughs> yeah, I got that one. So then, that is the new beginning achievement done. We got one more left to get. Uh, so we can leave, we can press experience, and now we can choose the Halloween special episode. Now all this entails is basically running along and finding pumpkins. It's very easy, it's a very easy path, um, but we will find them together. Together. So, first one is, if you turn directly around, you can already see crap sparking out of it. Oh, excuse me, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so, that'll be the first pumpkin. Now, we're going to start heading to the uh, left. Wow, that's a big pumpkin in the sky, but he does not count. So, just keep running down. You can already see the second one on the right on the path just in front of us. Just in the distance. Well, not so distant anymore. So, you're just going to run into it and it'll fling up in the air. Right, so the third one is if we turn to the right, uh, between the houses, we are going to start getting into the dark. You can probably, again, just see it in the distance, so move on forward, just on top of this pillar. An old Woodville cemetery. And when we this grab this, go through, and you can already see the next one in the front of us. Keeper was the last one buried here. So, when we grab this one, head once again, sort of just past this pillar, and have a look at that sort of old, abandoned-looking, creepy building. Fully expecting Slenderman to come and finger us, to be honest, with his long-ass fingering arm creepiness. And if we back out of the abandoned house, we can just keep going forward after we grab that uh, pumpkin inside. So, to the left slightly, uh, but forward, you can just again see the next one. still there. No one would steal the painting, fearing the old witch's curse. So we started searching for a woodville witch. 
And from here, again, basically directly in front of us, next to a tree, is going to be the uh, next one. Already just on the right-hand side there, you can already see it. So we went further into the black woods. A whipping will. Now again, if we start heading forward, eventually in just a few moments, we're going to see another sort of abandoned looking shack thing. And there's going to be two in here, I believe, if my calculations are correct. Let me just do some nerd science. <laughs> Um, my calculations are that I am completely wrong, but if we head um, to the left, it's in this little alcove. That is where the next pumpkin is. Pumpkin, even. So if we just head out the same way that we came in, eventually we're going to start making it. Already directly in front of us there, slightly to the left, is the next one. So, by the way, that's why I'm not going to be a scientist, because apparently scientists don't make the <coughs> noise. They don't make the pig noise. I don't know why I've done that. You know, typing on the computer and all sciencey stuff. I know scientists are jock as hell. So that's all good. So past uh, to the left slightly, heading onto the main road now. And uh, we are going to go into another building. Now this is the one I think that has two in. Let me just get my scientist calculations out again. <laughs> and I calculate that yes, there are two in here. And that is why I am a scientist, ladies and gentlemen. So there's two... In here, make sure to be grabbing those two on the table and on the bar, and then we can just head out. Jump through window and keep going straight. And very quickly, we are going to see the next one. Did I say very quickly? Sorry, I meant eventually. <laughs> but we're heading straight, straight towards this light. Go past the beams and the next pumpkin is going to be... God damn it, you blinded me! Friggin' hell, man. There is the next one anyway on the generator. Right, we can just keep walking forwards. Now, basically, we're going to get some weird things happening. If we uh, turn our camera to the right slightly, you're going to see a big giant sunken head. Big giant stone head coming out of the ground. There it is. The pumpkin is basically just to the right of that giant old head of ours. Oops. Top nose, mate. Who knows? <laughs> no one knows. I knows nose. And when we grab this pumpkin then, this will be the final achievement of the game. So that should be 18 out of 18, the, the trophy, the platinum trophy done, and all achievements done, 1000 GS. So there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if it did help. Also, don't forget to uh, check me out on my socials, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are fantastic legends. And for those that um, just interact with me on in any way, shape or form, thank you so much. I really highly appreciate the support from everyone as well who shows it. But that is that then from me, guys and gals. I will see you in the next one. Uh, ba -ba -ba big love.